Hello everybody, welcome back to Net Underground. So, continuing from where we left off last time. Let's get the music going. We are still on the top right of the map. Still haven't seen everything there is to be seen. So let's try and change that. We figured out there was nothing to do on the right, but... There is something left and up here. Now that we know these types of rocks often contain hidden pathways, we might be able to put good use to them. Oh, we just didn't go here. Because I went up. Ah, yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, this looks like fun. He lied. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. If I'm not an idiot, then I, I know I can probably most likely make this. Yeah, there we go. Now just be careful for the one on top. Good to go. See? This better be worth something. We've gone through a lot of passageways where we didn't get squat for. This one seems to be one of those again. It's always fun when you know there's only one way as well. So you can't use them as a shortcut or anything, but at least that clears out another big chunk of map. Not big. So now there's only a few more to go to, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go down to the right. There we go. Then... Yeah, I'm kind of interested in why I didn't check out that last bit over there. Apparently there's a way to get there, so... And good. Like that was an accomplishment all on its own. But it wasn't. So, one more up and then we can go check it out. Uh, go right here. And continue. Ah, oh, now we're back in this cell hole. The only annoying part about the whole thing is that you might be doing this all for nothing. The easiest way seems to be going to the right and then down. And to the right. See if we can actually do this. Hmm. I. Ah, oh, come on. You had to fire then and there. Good. Okay. Onwards. So then down, go two screens down, then go here, and drop down, where we have nothing. Go figure. Uh, no big deal, we can go down and to the right and see what's up with that. So I'm assuming there's a way to actually get into the ship. Hope I can stand on that. Yeah. Alright. 
Do we need the blue thing? No, I don't think we do. What? Oh, something here. It's a fossil of a f dead fish or something. Let's check it out at least. Skull of some animal. That's generic enough to work. Alright, so that takes care of the entire right side. Let's go find some new stuff. Uh, this is where the blue one is, and I'm assuming, at least I'm hoping, that this adds up to its uh, figures, right? Oh, we can still get to it. Okay, never mind. Haven't been here yet, and there's a lot to be seen. That was a brilliant bounce. Another town, it seems? Or just ruins of some sort? Nope, we're back here. Which also learns that not all paths are shown on the map. Okay. Sorry if I check my map too often, but I'd rather check the map twice than getting completely lost and you do want to get through this with at least a bit of sense of direction and strategy what's green again? is that just flying? it is alright that's easy enough why would they give me that here? I don't now I'm back to here what the hell is going on here? well let's take the red one with us and see if can put it to good use somehow. Nope. <coughs> so we've reached another door. Let's see if we can breach it by going the long way around. If there is a long way around. Nope, this one goes down. So. Let's continue. Oh, green stuff. And it seems like familiar green stuff. As in, got the inkling that I already been here, but then just as a ball. Hmm. Well, at least we can try a new stuff by like going this way. Yellow, we... no, just white. That means we can shoot at something. But what would we want to shoot? Nothing, really. Hey, that didn't blow up. Does that mean there's a path here? No. So there's something at the end of this. village of fairies or sprites or whatever and I'm here in the town again huh but not in ball form well someone wants to talk to me now that look you must be one of the sprockets but that can only mean the gods answered my prayers they sent you to come ah oh, crud to help me come up then not a cynical one Oh, no, that's just coincidence. No way, a while back I found a rare and beautiful ring, but today one of those thieving bird creatures took it. The ring is important to me, but I just can't reach the bird's nest. I don't climb that well, so I decided to pray. I barely get started, and you guys show up. So when you pray, any random person who walks by is because of divine intervention. Interesting. 
Yeah, that is an interesting take on things. I guess the key to believing in miracles is to have really, really low expectations. A sprocket with flying power doesn't qualify as any random person. You have to admit it can be coincidence. Wouldn't the gods send someone who believes in them? Of course not. They could have sent a myriadist counselor, but how about that help me? You're here for a reason, so your reward doesn't have to wait. Take this. The Kashiki stone will bring you victory. A stone with fake powers? Ah, oh, why didn't I forget about that? When someone goes take this payment, now go help me, that doesn't oblige to us. No, it doesn't. Did he tell us where we need to go? Mm, yes, sort of. Right up here. Uh, of course it wouldn't be. Oh, there's a path here. Well, if that great stone of his allows me to take care of this thing, which it does not do. Ah, boy. Okay, well, there's only one thing I can still think of. That's shooting to there from the left-hand side of the map. Is that a stone I can pick up? It's something. Hey, you care to do business? A simple delivery is all we ask for. Alright, let's send Dora out. <sighs> You're too small to carry it. We need to talk to the sprite. You'll have to talk to me, to, though I'm her representative. Okay, bought two coins here, like we always do one for the fruit, one for the delivery. So we, can, so we purchased an avocado from the farmer. Now, the delivery guy says he won't accept coins any longer. Some nonsense about the value of the coins, so we ask him what other currency he accepts that we first can actually lift. I've heard about the small guys in Crystal Path, the ones who teleport. Yeah, that won't get us massive fruits. They don't have food anyway, I hear they feed on the light. Isn't it tiny insects? Anyway, about this avocado, yeah. Where do we take it? Two hours lower, paying you up front with this coin so we don't have to carry it back. Alright. And where is he at? The entire screen is filled up with cues, and I don't know which one's which. One, two, three, four. I can see four so far. Yeah, anyway. Let's see if there is indeed a way up from here. Gotta be, right? Yeah, we can go to the right here. That should get us somewhere. So this is actually where I fell down with that ball. And there's the blue thing I asked for. Good. Alright. Do we need that? Green is just flight. This isn't gonna end well, is it? Nope. Maybe we can go back all the way again. But at least now we know. Well, oh, that's one hell of a shot there. Ah, there we go. So. I think I'll be high enough. Damn it, Bobby. Okay, there it goes again. I think this will probably be the last thing I'll be doing here. Okay. So I'll land on that thing. Started the bouncing. That's the wrong button. Ah, 
Ah, oh, come on. There's more. Th no, no, that's the avocado ones. Never mind. Okay, so green. Are you? Jeez. I knew I should have used that bounce. I don't think the green will last long enough <clears throat> for me to go get the other green by bouncing around. So that's out of the question as well. Ah, oh, and then I completely missed it. Yeah, things are going pretty well. It's not that hard, it's just... Well... Me fumbling around, I'd say. Well, I can't even do that one properly. Okay. Grab this, then do that. Come on. Ah. Problem is, you'll probably have to land on the exact same height than the other thing did. Well, same height than the green one is, so. So you can keep flying with the blue one. And use green when you're actually at the end. Not the easiest thing. Use this. Uh, come on, grab it. Yeah! And we got the dude's ring. We can open this one up. And we can at least make someone happy. In this episode, found your ring. So I believe this is just a coincidence. Bring that up with the celestial teapot. The what? Anyway, thanks for the help. So technically, I could have just bolted with the reward. Anyway, is there a safe point nearby? Yes, sort of. While we're here, might as well see what's up there. What was that you wanted? You know what, let's not do that. Seems like the coins are like your Joker card. And with plenty left to explore, it would be stupid to throw out your best cards right at the start. If it would be like five stones in one coin, then yeah, sure, why not, right? But uh, tell me there's a way up here. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Where is that? Ah, it's up. Well, this is a long episode. Don't think anyone would mind. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to show your support by commenting, liking, and or subbing. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.